Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Bart. And I'm Scott. We got a larceny barrel proof, baby. Mm -hmm. Woo. We did. I think the first batch. It's been a while. We've had a new one. Now we're going to steal, baby. Steal larceny. Larceny style. Test it! Weeded bourbon barrel proof style. Ooh, beep, beep, and a beep. Test it! No, that's for later. All right, we're in, we're in. <laughs> I know, what are we gonna do? We're gonna test, we're gonna test. We're moving, we're moving. What? I feel pressure. <laughs> you wanna redo? <laughs> Roll with it. Ah, all right. I got off, I got off. Uh, we. It was the first batch of Larceny Barrel Proof Bourbon that we did, and it was, it was good. Okay. It caught me it on okay. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It was okay. Really? I don't think it was as good as we expected. Or really? I as good as other barrel proofs that were coming out. Got so, it. it's been a while. This is batch A123. A1. So, real recent. Okay. 62.9% uh, ABV or 125.8 proof. Stealing from so, the little wild stuff. Larceny is a weeded bourbon. There's no rye in this. The rye's been replaced with wheat. I like my rye. Rich, Smell is burnt, bourbon. burnt brown sugar. I don't cinnamon. Get wood though. Yeah, I get cinnamon. Burnt vanilla. <laughs> and vanilla. Toasted, maybe, not burnt. <laughs> Very nice nose though. Hmm. Coming out of the glass. Wow. So it opens soft with like a mm. caro syrup. Hmm. Then the oak and mid palate starts to show up like a full out stave has been thrown in a barrel. And then it finishes back on that sweet Ooh. caramel note. Ah. That's not bad. That's really smooth, Ooh. too. What? What you got? It's hot. Really? I think I there's the heat. Ooh. There's, um, this is definitely, and I've heard rumor that some of the newer batches are, have been better than the earlier batches. I think that here, it does say on the back, it's a blend of six to eight year old uh, bourbons. Really? Uh, it does feel older than that though. I mean, we're getting close to Elijah Craig barrel proof yeah. here at the 12 years. Surprise me. I would, I would have guessed eight to 10, somewhere in that range, but very nice, rich palette. A little astringent, a little drying up front I got. Um, oakiness, but those nice bourbon notes that we like, the cinnamons and the caramels, and the brown sugars, not yet, a little more neat here. Okay, now. Okay, now. Cacao. Mm. <laughs> Cacao, baby, cacao. Charred cask, a little bit of like a tobacco. Like a tornado. A little bit of chewing tobacco. <laughs> Maybe, really? maybe a cigar. Levi Garrett. A little Levi cigar Garrett tobacco. back in the day. Pouch. Mm. Slight nuttiness. Slight cherry cola. Slight root beer. Maybe a, maybe a cherry root beer. A little bit of everything going on. Did a little Scott Swish there. Yeah, I get the colas for sure. Wow, with the water, it's sparkier. Mm. I didn't get that much spark on it at first. Woo. It's dancing across the tongue with that ABV. It almost is. Yeah. It almost does feel hotter. Wow. Why is water. that? The water's sparked it up. Ooh. What Sweeter. is going on? Juicier fruits here of maybe the cherries, Fruit apples. Cherry. Juicy apple. Really? What wow. is it? No, I'm saying it's cherry, sweet cherry, sweet apple, juicy apple, maybe. Apricot? Prune? No. There's something in there. It's fruitish. I don't know. Raisins? Yeah. Very nice. This one, yeah. Well, this one's. What is going digging. on? We added water and it tastes sparkier. Mm -hmm. What would do that? It's it like was pretty alcohol. sparky up front, but yeah, it still it did it come off, come off like it was a little bit more punchy with the water. Yeah, I put the water in, and it's like it's dancing on the uh, taste buds. It's going... Wow, I've got almost nothing in here. I'm going to take some. All right. 
um, oak, a touch of cola, lots of cinnamon. I'm still perplexed by the spark going higher. Wow. Yeah. Um, definitely impressed with this one. Maybe we should have visited some of those batches in between. Yeah, I don't think we visited any of them. Mm -mm. I don't like their labeling system, though. It's too ECBP. A123. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Other than that, I like I like the taste. John F. John E. Fitzgerald. I put another drop of water on there, and I can't tell. <laughs> this is so hot. I can't tell any water has been added to this. It's handling yeah. it so well. Yeah, but that's probably the difference with the ECBP, which is 12 years old. Do we have an age statement anywhere on here? I already said it. Six oh, to eight years. You know, I don't listen to you. You talked about it. Well, I over-talked. <laughs> mm. Did you say barrel-proof? I know, but I don't think I, I mentioned the year. You did. I'm well. just saying. I wouldn't listen. Um, Old I like a great finish on this one, uh, really, too, though. Um, hanging around. This is rich. It's uh, There's depth here. There's rich, richness. But, okay, so weeded bourbons, though, usually a little bit sweeter, a little bit more honeyed. A little this more is floral. so strong. Yeah. I usually get a little more, more floral note off the wheat. I think the heat on this one is almost Taking confusing it? for rye. For like spiciness, because it's okay. like so hot. Okay, all right. So maybe I need to add even a little, but that, a little more. Then, a, fast a little bit more. I'm still perplexed by when I added water; it suddenly like sparked me. It's like it got hotter. It's crazy. I don't know if I've had that before. Usually, it'll dull it down. Anything? Anything? Mine's gone. Thought it's still good. <laughs> it's good. It's just that was a little bit different. Hmm. I know. Barrel proof. Ooh. 125.8 proof. 62.92. No, 62.9 percent. Interesting. All right. 92. Wow. 91. I was going to say 89. <laughs> two points. Maybe 88 there's a, even. There's I could go 88. Point. I could go 88. It's, it's poppy. I'm still a little bit confused by how it sparked up when I diluted. That's got me, it's a weird alchemy thing going on. But it's good. You can't go wrong. Price. That would confuse me too. I know. I'm just confused. Corn fuse. What's the price? 60 bucks. 65 bucks. Oh God dang, that's a steal. Yeah. That's really good. There's no <laughs> larceny on their part. It's on you, baby. It's on you. <laughs> Definitely. You're stealing that. from them, man. Yep. Get out of here. Yep. All right, I love it. That's good. That's a great price for this. Yeah. You're getting a nice ABV. Where would you think it was going to be? 100? I thought it was, yeah, oh, yeah. Yep, or 80. 80 because of the ECBP. Mm, yeah. I figured it was going to be ECBP prices, and I was going to I was gonna slap it around for that. Yeah. But it came in lower. No slap. Hands off. <laughs> Hands off, baby. <laughs> Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up glasses, dropper sets, hats, shirts, coins, all kinds of stuff. It helps support the show. It keeps the lights on. And it does because we use this to, we purchased it, sorry, with Patreon funds. You can go to Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support as little as a dollar a show or a dollar a month, or you can scale it up or down in there. So enjoy, have fun. Go check us out on Patreon and scotch it. You scotch gods did we say how old this is cilantro dummies dummies i think you said it was 92. <laughs>